Hey everyone, uh, I made a tutorial some days ago and it's about how you can make a gallery based on the folders of Happy Files. And in that video I mentioned that there are other ways and maybe better ways of actually doing this in this case. Uh, so before we, we go ahead and start this video, I just encourage you to watch the video first so you kind of get the gist of it so you don't feel like this video is like that I go too fast over the different things just so you have a basic understanding of what it is we're trying to do. And what we're trying to do here is actually, yeah, uh, query the, the media library that we can do when we, we have happy files installed. Query that with, with the bricks. But what we've done here, let me go to my computer here so you can see what's going on. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is the um, page that we built in the previous lesson um, where we pull everything in from the media library. Let me show you here. We have this folder portfolio and you should go watch the video as I just said um, before you watch this to get an understanding. But we pull in the, the images from the different uh, folders that we have inside the portfolio folders made with happy files. And um, we already have this if we go back here. Um, but what I was thinking like what if we have many more what if we're going to keep adding categories keep adding folders keep adding images and all of a sudden we're going to have hundreds of images if you have this all tab where all the images from the from all of the different subfolders are showing then we're going to have a problem because we cannot we need some pagination we need some way to um to actually uh, navigate through these pages because we don't want to show like a preview of a hundred images uh, in one place. So that's why in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the query filter, how to, 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 to use that instead because that's probably a better solution for this. But let me just try and show you what I mean. First of all, I have two image loops inside these grids. I'm just going to uh, rename this one here so it gets a little bit easier. It's Let's call it all image loop. Image loop all. Let's just call it that. Uh, because what I want to do here, I want to pull in the, um, well, actually, first of all, let me just show you, because right now it's, it's showing everything. Let me go to the front end and show you here. We have, it's showing everything that we can see, or actually it's only showing 10. Uh, let's just set it down to, let's go to this image loop here. We already have the query loop. If we go into that, we can see that we have posts per page 10. Let me just set that to four instead, because I know at least we have more than four. Let me save that and go in here. And then, you know, we can only see four, but if you go to the houses and tests and cars and cute cats, then we can see if we add all those together, we have we definitely have more than four images. So maybe I want to have some, um, some pagination down here. Uh, and actually, that's not really possible to do this way. Let me just show you just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to find the pagination and I'm going to pull that into my all pane. It should be there. I think that's probably a good place. No, I need to pull it down here. Um, mm, 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 where do we have that? Here. Let's put it here. All right, here we go. I'm going to keep it right here. And then I am going to up here inside this pagination element, I'm going to select the image loop all. Uh, and then we should get a result here. And you can see we already get like uh, up to five pages. Let me save that and let me show you what's going to happen here. Uh, okay, I want to go to page two. All right. And then we have a problem here because we, we um, all of the other tabs are just simply disappearing. We can't do that. Um, we could probably go in here and then we could go inside and say enable Ajax because then it's not going to reload the page and that should work. Um, and let me just actually just go ahead and because I'm here on, you can see in the URL I have some parameters. Uh, so let me just delete this and then we see everything again. So if I'm on the all tab and I have Ajax enabled, then you know I, I can I can do this. Uh, but when we get into this other these other where they're actually querying on the on the subfolders, uh, we're gonna have a problem. Uh, I can try and do the same thing here, and uh, I'm just I guess I'm just gonna make a copy of this pagination right here, pull that in down there as well, something like that. And of course we want to go into this one and tell it which one it should work for, and that would be the image loop right here. So let's save that, and I can click here, and I need, again, to just delete this in the URL so we get the right one, and houses, of course. I don't have anything here because I don't have that many, so I have to, first of all, of course, go back to my image loop uh, and just say I just want to show two. Okay. So let's go to houses 
and I can go to page two. But that's uh, that's that just doesn't work. It doesn't work in bricks. It's very pretty limited here. So uh, this is not the right way of doing this. So we should actually use a query filter instead. And this is what I'm going to show you here. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just go back, set, set the defaults up again here, just uh, remove these things and these paginations and everything. And then I'm going to clone this page and we're going to start and I'm going to go through everything again. Okay, so here's a copy of the page. Um, and before we do anything else, I just want to go ahead and go back to the settings inside the website here. In the Bricks settings, under Bricks and Settings, in the first general, you will find uh, Query Filters and you must enable Query Sort Filter, Light Search, if you want to use that. If you're using ACF or Metabox or something like that, you, you also want to enable that, of course, but this is not about that. Uh, so let's enable that one and go ahead and save the settings. Then we're going to go back to this page here, and I'm just going to reuse a lot of this stuff here because we don't want to start building everything from scratch. We already set it up in a previous video, which I encourage you to go watch. Uh, so you're yeah, so you're up to date. Uh, inside the tab, I'm not going to use the tabs anymore. That's uh, We're not going to use that at all. So I'm just going to take this in this panel here and the grid I have a grid inside this pane here so I'm I'm gonna take this one I'm, let me just pull it out here uh, and just delete this all of this stuff we don't want that anymore I should go ahead and insert a new section and inside the section we do have a container and I'm gonna put the grid inside this container and then we should be able to do some stuff here and here I have the image loop all as we called it and uh, if you go ahead and take a look at it just to refresh what we did in the previous video uh, it's showing the posts here so we are querying a type of post let me just drag this oh oops what am I doing here we go we can see it's post let me click on this again posts uh, and this post type is media posts and uh, and then down here we have a taxonomy query and that is a folder attachment uh, because again, we are querying the media library. We're querying this one right here. And let's go back and have a look at it. And we can see that we are querying folder with the ID of five. And again, that's the, what I went over in the last video. So if I click here on the details, you can see that this has an ID of five. So that's what's going on here. So right now we're just querying everything. We got everything going on right here. And if we scroll up a little bit, we can see we have posts per page. It should only show 10. So let's see if that's the case. Um, yeah, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks right to me. Let's go back here and let's try to add the pagination and see if that works. Um, we are going to go here and find the pagination element. And I'm going to drag that in just after. Ah, inside here. And we should get it. Of course, it always goes on the top. Okay, here we go. Pagination, we should go ahead and tell it how it should work. And we do that here. Main query, image loop all. So let's try and save that and go to the front end and see if we get this. And that looks right. Okay, so we got all of this stuff here. Yeah, that, that looks right. I just want to go over the image as well here. We also have some settings here and that is just an image. And what we're doing here is the post ID because that is what's going to show the image here. We should probably just uh, select a smaller one, smaller size. That'll probably be a good idea. Uh, and we're still linking to the light box here and it says all. I'm not going to go through anything with the light box here or anything like that. But um, okay. But we also need to go ahead and inside the image loop here. We should uh, have a look at the query one more time and just tell it that we want it to be um, oh sorry that's down here in the in this one we want to go ahead and say we want to enable Ajax here so it doesn't um, reload the whole page okay I forgot about that before but uh, yeah that's what you have to do so okay so when you go ahead and you install the or enable the query filters you're gonna get a whole new set of different um, tools here or different new uh, elements that you can add and if you scroll down here, you can see we got something called filters. We got checkboxes, date pickers, radio buttons, and all different kinds of cool things. And But what we want here is we want to use the radio. That is probably the correct one uh, in this case. Uh, so I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to try it and see if I can put it right here. Yeah, that didn't really work. It's kind of jumping around a little bit. So let me just put it above the grid inside the container. 
And inside the radio filter, we want to go ahead and select the query, which is image loop all. And uh, we probably want to go ahead and apply on input, which means when you change something. Uh, and we want it to be uh, just a filter. That's what it is already. And then the source, we want to go ahead and select the taxonomy because that's what we're using here. And we need to go inside here and also select folder attachment because that is, again, what we are doing. And as you can see right now, we get a whole list of all the different folders here. And, uh, well, that doesn't look great uh, because it's just all the folders that I have in my media library. And we're just going to go ahead and hide the empty folders here. We don't need to show any empty folders. So now it only says folder. I'm going to save that and let's go ahead and look on the front end again. And we get actually all of these different folders here. So, um, so that's so far so good. We want these uh, radio buttons to be buttons instead. So let's go down here and under mode, we can select button and then we should probably style it up a little bit and make it a little bit more pretty. So now I've got all the buttons here. Let's just, uh, let's make it a circle. That probably looks good. Let's have a default size. Let's have a background color of what was it? This one maybe. Yeah, and I think maybe the active one, the active ones, we can select the background color of, let's take this one and uh, have a light text on that. If I could find that, here you go. There you go. So that looks kind of what it did uh, before. And also you can see that you have uh, parentheses. You can see how many are actually in the different folders. That's up to you if you want that or not. You can go ahead and actually uh, 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 somewhere switch that off. Hide uh, count bracket, for example, this one. And you're not going to be able to see how many. Um, oh, the bracket, yeah. Hide count, here you go. That one. So we don't need to hide this one actually. Okay. One moment here. I forgot to say that if you want to change this folder's name from folder to whatever it is, like all in this case, you have to go to the um, to the label here and, and change that. So that's what I forgot to say in the, when I recorded the video. Let's get back to what it's all about. So now that looks a little bit better. I'm not going to try and style it or make it look better than that it already does. But let's go ahead and save that and go to the front end and see if it works. And what do you know? It works. Everything seems to be working. Now we just need to have some pagination here. Uh, actually, it's interesting why I don't have that. And that's not so interesting. It's not so weird, actually. That's because inside our uh, image loop here, I've just said I don't have enough uh, images in the folders. That's why. So if we just go ahead and say we want, let's just show uh, three for each folder or total. And then I can go ahead and do that. And then we should be able to see the pagination for the different ones. And that's, there you have it. That's a much better way of doing this. You can change between these and, you know, you can use pagination. And as you can see, uh, if we just go ahead and we actually remove this preview thing here, uh, then when you click on these, you will see, you will get these different um, things going on up here in the, in the URL, the URL parameters. So you can actually still deep link to this, um, yeah. You could also select another. You probably want to go ahead. This is uh, some some ID that is being set here. You can uh, go ahead and create your own ID for that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how this is probably uh, done in a better way. This way, uh, what I tried to do in the in the previous video, uh, it works pretty well. So that's how you can do that. Maybe it's not the best solution for everything. Maybe it's you know it's up to you what you're trying to build and stuff like that. So, uh, but anyways, if you want to use pagination, Ajax, these kinds of things, then this is probably the way to go compared to how we did it in the previous video. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Thanks. See ya.